What's up guys, Master Cole back with another banger banger video. Today, um, yesterday we did another bulk day um, workout, but I didn't record it because I was at a mate's house doing it. So I didn't want to full like, have to get their permission and stuff. Um, it would just be kind of weird. I can't, well, I just wanted to hang out. Today we're going to be doing another tech episode. We're going to be taking a, apart the PS4 Slim. So I've already taken out a couple of screws and then I was like, oh, maybe I should record this to show other people how to do it. Um, so there is a special sort of screw. It's like, it has a pretty weird head on it. Wait, wait, let's just get the camera to focus. Um, it's not like a, oh, there we go. Got like a sort of weird um, screw bit. So you won't need like, if you do have the special screwdriver, go ahead and use it, but I can't get the camera out of the focus, so I don't think you'll know what it is. So, um, just take off the lid by, like, I'll just put it back on. So, this is the front. So, just unclip these three bits here, and then it will come off like that. And then, yeah, so you'll see a lot of screws. Just to unscrew the Phillips head screwdriver ones. Um, and then what you need to do for the special ones like this, um, you can kind of see it now, but there's like a little pin in the top, in the middle, in the hole. Um, so you're sort of just gonna like wedge that out with the, um, <coughs> the, flathead screwdriver and sort of like try and get under there and then like just scoop it out um so yeah now now that we've got all we'll just get the rest of these out next to the cpu fan gpu fan whatever maybe just, oh damn put that one stuck in there somewhere i'll have to get it out later Oh, I'm that one. And I'll just well, there's the other one. So there'll be short screws like this. Um, that's pretty average size actually. Then there'll be short black screws like that. Um, then there'll be those special screws, and then there'll be bit longer Phillips head screws. So the, those small screws are all also um, Phillips head screws. So now that we've taken out all those screws, um, can we take this bit off now? Oh, whoops. Uh, looks clapped in here. Let me get full electrocuted. No, we'll have to take these bits because they're this bits this metal bit stopping us from taking it off. Sort of, so we have to take out these special screws first. So again, just sort of dig underneath there until you get like firm grip. Um, I also sort of got it out on this one with the pliers, um, but we won't be able to get these out because we we'll need to get the really skinny pliers, like the needlenose pliers, but they can't really fit in that, that tiny little space. Oh, I might just have to full. Um, snap that off here. I'm not gonna use this in the truck and like somehow repair it. Oh, still cooked. Uh, to like pop off the oh damn there's like circuits under there i reckon there's a ram under there maybe we could get to that and use it for my gaming pc oh yeah i got this bit this side off and then just need to sort of like lift it up and then slide the your wedge underneath there Oh, 
there'll be like little clips on there you can just like unclip and then um if you are gonna try and like sell some of these parts or salvage them for like a gaming pc or something i don't know if these are compat these parts are compatible there's also these like plastic bits on the sides here they just wait oh, was it on just that side or I think it was on just that side, so like there's, um, those bits come off and then there's, you can unscrew that bit, we'll get to that later, just keep wedging, not wedging on with, edging. Uh, we'll go this wedge over here. Just a sort of twisting and pushing down motion here. And sliding. Where's it stuck on now? You can get full electrocuted from this. I hope the power's good enough. Power's unplugged, obviously. Oh, there's like a bit here that's holding on. You sort of just have to like bring it out and then take it around and slide it out so it's before you can get, get it off. I think, make sure it doesn't cook any of the circuits. And I think there's something, I think this is clipped on or something in here. Oh my, I just clapped something in there. I think this is a motherboard or something. I'll just put it off. Get them off their strength. Oh, far out. Nah, bro, you know when you like um touch a really bro, I full I full got like I like pressed on it and then I got full like I touched the battery or something because it full like electrocuted my hands. Nice no, cooked. You know, you know when you like touch the big fat batteries together and then it makes like a pulse? I, I just full went into that and then I think there's, you can see like under under there, you see there's like some batteries. I could touch that. I pulled pressed into that and then cooked it. Let me, let me just watch that back. All right, so guys, um, I looked at, I couldn't really see anything on there, but um, I did really feel it in like my finger. You could see me like pressing down on there. Yeah, um, but so we won't be touching this anymore because, well, we won't be like putting lots of force on it because it full gave me the electric shock. It full sent the energy through my veins. Yeah, like under there, you can see there's like that um, gold thing. I think that's what um, I was pressing down on. But you can see over here, there's some pretty cool stuff. There's like this plastic mechanism. It's all made of plastic, really. Um, but we need to get under here to see the actual like motherboard and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the power supply under there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to unscrew these screws. I think there's I think there's only one and then after that we're gonna unscrew the screw under here so yeah all right guys so <coughs> we are gonna unscrew this one here I think I might need a smaller screwdriver for this one. Yeah, I need to go get a small screwdriver. 
All right, guys, we've got like the mini screws here. The mini screwdriver, I mean. Taking out the mini screw. And then um, we'll just take it out. It's like something like this. Just take it out. And we should be able to. Oh, there's another one, my bad. I'll use the attachment for the. Some, one of these fell out. Hold on. Use the attachment, just put it in there. It's magnetic. So just take out these. And then this should just come off like this. Oh, there'll be a bit of like metal that we're taking out. Um, just hanging there. So I'm not actually sure what this does, but looks pretty Timo quality. What the hell? Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at, look at this. So there's like this bit here and it and it's like full sliding. Um I'm pretty sure this is like well, I'm not actually sure what this is, but there's like some screws. I'll go all the way through. Uh, also this like trigger on it goes what? Wait. Oh, this is to eject the disc. This is just a disc reader. Where's the CPU? Is it under here? Right, let me just full take that off. The fan. That's the disc. Bending the screwdriver. What does this actually come off? Is this? So the CPU. Where's the CPU and the GPU? Oh, I think this is it. Right. We need to take this whole plastic bit off first. We need to get and take off this screw here. Screws taken out. Now I can flip this over. Hopefully, it doesn't bend the hole in the table. Oh, what the hell? Rope bit just fell off. Don't want to accidentally get put down in the video. Is there any, any other screws that we have to undo? Oh, there's one. Oh, that's one of the special ones. Before. Bend that off then. Alright guys. Um, so I need to just take this off. It's sort of pretty weak screw. The whole thing is made of plastic anyway, so it shouldn't take too long to take off. Um, just wiggle it around. Um, and then it should come out. I'll put it over here so you can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, I'm recording a video, that's why I shut the door. 
I just need some time. Time to work on it. I need to get back to work. Time for dinner? Yeah. Okay. Once you finish that, you can show me how the camera works. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Now you just need to sort of like pull it off. So this is the one we're trying to get off here. We could probably reach in here with the needle nose pliers and probably don't have enough space to turn it. get a good grip and then we'll be able to turn it. It's just so hard to get a good grip with this tiny little space. What the hell? I'll speed this bit up so you don't have to watch me doing this. Guys, we finally got it out. Um, it's also one of those special ones. It's held this black. Um, so now we should be able to take this off. Um, unless there's any screws like underneath here, I don't think so. No, um, oh, over here we can pull out the the hard drive, which is pretty cool with this with this bit. This is where you store your data. I could probably probably use this for my gaming PC actually. Yeah, I'll save this for later. Um, in case I can use it to get some free data, free storage on me. Uh, now, uh, let's just see how this comes off. I'm pretty sure it should just slide off once we get that out. Oh, there we go, yeah. Just don't want to get full electrocuted. Who do we take this bit off? This should just come off like unclip, like the top bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> spoke too soon. Oh, funny, this side being mad zesty. Just full run the screwdriver through here. Like the top bit. Yeah. 
This should just come off. Shouldn't be this hard. Guys, I just pulled, um, it up and put some pressure on it and it came off uh, pretty easily. So now this is what it sort of looks like. Uh, this is what it exactly looks like, actually. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of screws to disassemble now. So I'll just um, disassemble those on time lapse. 